I'm a hydrogeologist. My model in life is think out of the box. My name, Marcel. My experience, groundwater and soil contaminations. I'm the creator of GeoRGB. A channel of geographic information systems, GIS, geology, hydrogeology and contamination. The purpose, the objective, the goal, the intention, the target, the desire. Share my experience and acknowledge to create points of discussion. The GeoRGB community. Promote the use of free and open source software. A free digital society. Provide technical advice to environmental companies an opportunity for professional growth. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. In this occasion I am going to show you how to get georeferent Google Earth high resolution images using Quantum GIS version 3.12. For many years, we was using external software to get georeferent images like SAS Planet. But today, you are going to watch a method where it's very easy and fast to obtain images with coordinates included only using Quantum GIS. Also, I am going to use the free software Google Earth and Open Office. Okay, let's go to do it. The first step is download the Quip Map Service plugin. To do that one, we need an uh, internet connection. And we have to go here to plugins, manage and install plugin. And then here in search, just write Quick, Quick Map Service. It's this plugin here, select the plugin and install. Close and here in web. As you can see, we don't have too much uh, maps, even we don't have Google Earth in these options. Then to get all these maps, we have to go settings, go here to more services, and then click this button here. You can check this website here. save and now as you can see we don't we have all these uh, servers with the maps then the one we are going to use for this example is going to be google and it's going to be google satellite the second step is to select the map and area you want to download in this case the the map is going to be the google uh, satellite and the area First, I'm going to show you the area with uh, Google Earth. I am going to download a gas station located in Hungary, concretely in Budapest. Is this gas station here? And to search that gas station in Quantum GIS, we are going to look for some points of reference. For example, the morphology of this river here. Also, it is important to see that in Google Earth, we can see the coordinates. The coordinates are here. They are in UTM and you can see the zone. In this case, is a 34T. Okay, let's go to look this gas station in Quantum GIS. Just go here, web, web map services, and select the map you want. In this case, is uh, Google Satellite. To make easy the location, we can load a hybrid map. Let's go to do it. Web map service, Google Earth, hybrid. 
and here we can look for Hungary here Budapest and as I said before we have to look for the morphology of the river in this case is this river here and the location of the gas station is over here is this gas station and we can change the map again One important thing to know is I didn't change the any reference coordinate systems. I leave the one by default is this one, WGS84, Seuro Mercator. And I didn't change that one because when we load this kind of maps, uh, we are taking the information for a server. And if we change the coordinates, then the information is going to to come very slow and it's going to take a lot of time to load all the map right then the best way to work with this kind of maps is just leave the the coordinates by the fall and when you have your area is when you have to to put here the coordinates you want and that one is going to be the third step now we have to decide in what coordinates we want to download the image. The coordinates we put here is the coordinates we are going to have in our image. As we saw before at the Google Earth image, our area is located at the UTM some 34T. Okay, let's go to look for that one here to change the coordinates because what I want is a projected coordinate systems. I'm going to use also the WGS84. Okay, then let's go to look for that uh, zone 34. Yes, right here, WGS84. And then we have to look here for the coordinates we, have, we want. Is this one here, WGS84 UTM 734 North. As you see, when you select that one, here is going to change and it's going to indicate what is the area for these coordinate systems. Okay, then press apply. And okay, and now the coordinates change for this one. The fourth step is open the algorithm. To do that one, just go to here, Processing, Toolbox, and select uh, Raster Tools, and the algorithm is going to be Convert Map to Raster. Click here, double click here, and now let's go to add these parameters. First, let's go to add the extension of the image. Select the second option. And here is going to be something from here. This area. This one is going to leave like that one. This one also. And here is going to be the resolution for the image. 0.01. It's enough, you're not going to get a better resolution. Then select here the layer you want to render. Sorry, here, layer to render. In this case, it's going to be Google Satellite. Okay, and here select the folder where you want to save the, the image you are going to download. Save to file. In my case, I'm going to save here at the desktop and it's going to be a folder called gas station. Image, save and then run, run the process. Now the process is complete, close. And as you can see here, we have our image. Is this one here? And if you check the properties of this image, 
and go to the information, you are going to see what is the coordinates reference distance for this image. As we said before, it's WGS 84 UTM Sun 34 North, and it's a projected system. Okay, now we have our image uh, georeference. If we go to the file, that it's a, a TIFF image, and that's, that's it. One of the inconvenience of these methods could be sometimes uh, locate your site. In this case, it was not pretty difficult because it was a big city and you have a lot of elements that you can use as a reference to locate your site. But sometimes it could be very complex if you are working in a remote location and there is not too much elements to recognize your area. Now I'm going to show you uh, a technique that you can use to, to get your site very fast. But first, let me tell you that if you are new in this channel and you like this kind of content, consider subscribing. Don't forget to like, share this channel with your friends. If you have comments, please leave them below. I love to hear from you. And if you have any suggestion for the upcoming videos, I love to hear those too. Okay, now let's go to see the technique. Let's go to suppose that we have an oil and gas field located at the province of Alberta in Canada. And we want to get the georeference Google Earth high resolution image for this site. Okay, this site is here. As you can see in this area, there, there is no too much elements that we can use to locate our area manually then in this case we are going to take the UTM coordinates to locate our site on quantum GIS to make this one make sure you have UTM coordinates to do that one just go here to options tool options and make sure you have universal transverse mercator option click okay then click this option here then you can move the pink over here. As you move the pink, the coordinates are changing here, okay? The information we need to know is the zone, in this case is 11V, the coordinates for the easting and the coordinates for the northing. Then we have to copy these coordinates and page in a spreadsheet. To create our spreadsheet, we are going to use the three and open source software Apache Open Office. Is this one here? It, this one it's pretty similar to Microsoft Excel. Okay. Then we have to create a couple of columns. One is going to be for the X. Another one is going to be for the Y. Then we have to copy and paste the coordinates. X is going to be for the X team, and Y is going to be for the North team. It is very important to save in a specific format. In this case, we want to save this one as a call for coordinates, and it's going to be this format here, text CSV. Save, keep current format, and these options are okay. Okay, and okay. Then we can close this one, go to Quantum GIS, First, we have to do in, in this order, that is important. First, we want to load the map satellite because we don't want to change the coordinate reference distance. We want this one by default. And then we can load the spreadsheet we created. Then click here. Sorry. First, you have to make sure that you have this option, the limited test, okay? Go here, select your file, okay? This option is good. And then in geometry, this option here, you have to make sure that you have this option selected. For the fields X, you have to select the column we designated as a X and for the Y the same. Okay. And then you have to look for your coordinate systems. I did already. This is uh, 
WGS84 UTM Sun 11. Okay, you have to look for your coordinates here. Look here and then select the one you want. This case is this one. As you can see, this this one is covered this area. Okay, and add and close. Then, as you can see, we have the point there. Just click right, zoom to the layer, and then you can make zoom until you get your your fill. Okay, is this fill here? And that's it. That's the technique uh, you can use to locate your sites very fast and easy. Then you have to follow all the steps we did for the the gas station. Thank you very much for watching this video and see you on the next one.